Music hasn't always been the way it is today. It went through small developments which over the course of time became drastically different. From the 1600s to the 1750s is about the time we know as the Baroque period. In the Baroque period, some famous composers were J.S. Bach and Pachelbel. J.S. Bach's full name was Johann Sebastian Bach. He was admired by Mozart and Beethoven, and Pachelbel was friends with Bach's family and even taught J.S. Bach how to play music. One song that Bach wrote was what later became Hezu Joy A Man's Desiring, and Pachelbel's most famous song was Canon and D, which you have probably heard as it is played for many weddings. An important instrument at the time was the Baroque organ, which was influenced by the French full organ. Most music was written for string instruments at this time, or other orchestral instruments. Music was also mainly played for church. From about 1750 to the 1810s, it became the classical period. Two famous composers at the time were Mozart and Haydn. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote The Magic Flute. The Magic Flute is the fourth most performed opera in the entire world. In the 1790s alone, it was performed hundreds of times. The most famous song from this performance is the Queen of the Night aria, which you have most likely heard before. Hayden, on the other hand, wrote 104 symphonies and came up with a sonata format. His most notable piece was most likely the Surprise Symphony. He wrote it because he was tired of people falling asleep during his performances. Music at this time was still played for the church, but it also became more popular among nobility and many nobles funded private programs. Around 1810 through 1870s, Romanticism started to evolve. Franz Schubert and Peter Tchaikovsky were two famous composers. Schubert created nine symphonies, but his eighth symphony is called Unfinished in B Minor because it was abandoned. On the other hand, Tchaikovsky wrote many ballet pieces. One of his most famous pieces is The Nutcracker, which is still performed to this day. The middle class during this time period started to become the audience for orchestral music, rather than nobility. Around the 1870s up to the start of World War I, two composers were a group called The Mighty Handful and Tchaikovsky again. The Mighty Handful felt isolated by Rubinstein, the man who opened St. Petersburg's Conservatory in Russia, as they felt his musical wouldn't be Russian enough. Tchaikovsky, on the other hand, was not interested in writing pieces for a nationalist cause. To go with the nationalist theme, the Mighty Handful composed a song called Russia, and Tchaikovsky wrote The Queen of Spades during this time. Norway and Russia were both prominent figureheads in this time. Most Russian composers wrote nationalist pieces. During this time period, the first English composer with international recognition in two centuries arose. He was Edward Elgar. In the earliest 20, 20th century, from 1910 to about 1940, Music was dominated by what was called ethnic tones, but what they meant was Eastern European music. It may seem weird to call Eastern Europe ethnic, but if you think about it, most people don't think of a country that is east of Germany when you say Europe. Béla Bartók was a composer who wrote almost 2,000 traditional Eastern European tunes and dominated the music scene during this time. Shifting our focus to America, around 1930s to 1960s, jazz emerged on the scene. While jazz was prominent in cities, country was developing in rural areas. Ella Fitzgerald was considered the queen of jazz. Fitzgerald did not compose her own music, but she was a recognizable name. George Gershwin was probably the most famous composer of this time, and is still famous to this day. He wrote Summertime and Rhapsody in Blue, Rhapsody in Blue being one of his most famous pieces. Fitzgerald sang many of Gershwin's pieces, such as Summertime and Looking for a Boy. Swing music became popular around the 50s and the 60s, and artists like Frank Sinatra were leads during this time. <laughs>
From the 60s to the 80s, it became popular for singers to compose their own music. British bands were also gaining popularity in America. Bands like the Beatles and Queen became famous during this time. One of the Beatles' most famous songs was Yesterday, and the most famous song from Queen is Bohemian Rhapsody, as most people today know. This has been a brief history on Western music.